all right guys let's head on over to the play store go up to the search bar and type in citra this is what it looks like hit install all right now we have the citra app downloaded and i have moved it to my home screen let's open the app this software will run games for the Nintendo 3DS handheld game console. No game titles are included. Before you run, please place your rightfully owned 3DS game files onto your device storage. Click OK. Allow Citra to access photos, media, and files on your device. Click Allow. Now I have a folder where I keep my 3DS games called Games 3DS. And I have five games in here. And there we are. My five games have been loaded into the emulator. Now let's open our settings. That's going to be the gear icon in the top right. And let's go to graphics. And let's go to internal resolution. Now, of course, higher is better. If you feel like your phone can handle max resolution, which will be four, then turn it all the way up. If you feel like your phone is lagging out or is freezing a lot, just downscale this until you find a resolution that works well with your phone. I usually run mine on three, and remember I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. My phone can actually handle four, but I just prefer to run it on three. So I'm gonna stick with three times, okay? Now, everything else, all of these other settings, we're gonna leave at default settings because I find everything on default works well with this emulator. Now let's set up our controller. Now when I'm on the go, I use my iPega controller with this emulator, but for this video, I'm gonna be using the Xbox One controller. Now they both set up the same way and they both work good. Just make sure you have a Bluetooth connection with your phone before opening the emulator. So what we wanna do is go back up to settings, gamepad. Now if you guys don't recall what the button layout looked like on the 3DS, here's a picture, you can pause the video. All right, we're gonna start with our A button. So let's click on A. Press or move an input to bind to A. So we need to select which button is gonna emulate A on our Xbox One controller. Same thing for B, and so on. Now when you get down to circle pad, you wanna use your left analog stick. So let's click on up slash down axis. Move your joystick up or down. Move your joystick left or right. Your C stick, you wanna use your right analog stick. Up or down, left or right. So remember guys, circle pad, left, C stick, right, analog sticks. D pad, up and down, left and right. Triggers, L is your left, R is your right. All right, once you have that set up, you can back up and it should save. Now let's load a game. I'm gonna load Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Now some games are gonna ask you, do you wanna allow Citra to record audio? This is totally up to you. It doesn't matter which one you choose. You can either allow or deny. Either way, it won't affect gameplay or performance. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit deny. Now here we are in game, and this is the default screen setting. Now if we turn our phone to the side, we go into landscape mode, and the main screen becomes bigger and the bottom screen goes off to the right. Now, some of you guys may prefer to play in full screen, so what you wanna do is drag down from the top of your screen and you get three little dots to the right, click on those and then click on landscape screen layout. And you can go single screen. This will make your main screen big. Now, just to show you guys my Xbox One controller is working, I'm gonna move around a little bit. Everything's good here. Now, if we wouldn't have Bluetoothed our Xbox One controller to the emulator, you guys would have been seeing the on-screen buttons that I hate, but you're not seeing them because we're actually using a Bluetooth controller with the emulator. So there you go, guys. We're good to go.